Hey YouTube, it's Cab Over Gary back. I'm out here on this hot day in Texas and uh, I'm pulling all the interior panels out of my truck. So uh, I got, so let me flip you around. So I got a uh, overhead console. This truck didn't come with one from the factory for this truck. And uh, the headliner is black and this truck has a blue interior. And my door panels are really rough and someone may remade them. So, the rest of my interior is pretty nice. So I decided that I was gonna change the interior color to uh, a tan color. So right now, I'm pulling the interior out. Um, when I get it out, I'll show you the next steps. So even though I thought my interior was clean, taking these panels off and cleaning them up to paint them, I noticed that like, look at all that nastiness. That's from the seatbelt. But like all that dust and dirt and stuff. So, I'll show you how I'm cleaning them. All right, so what I do is I'm uh, soaking them down with some purple powder. This hopefully will break up whatever dirt there is and uh, wax and grease. Uh, I'm taking a scotch Bright pad and I'm going kind of in a circular motion to try to get into the grooves as good as possible. And just getting it really good with this. The little screw holes. Because the paint, it says it's a dye. I don't know if it's really a dye or a paint, but no matter what it is, it's not gonna stick good if it can't get to the material itself. So it's real important to get these really clean. And this purple power is pretty powerful stuff. Okay, once I feel like I got a scrub good, I take paper towels and I wipe it off. And you can see how nasty that just was. And in the truck, I mean, they looked really good in the truck. I just wanted a different color. I couldn't get past the thought that I wanted green on the outside and the blue just, blue and green to me just wasn't the right color combination. So now I'm going to hit it again. And what you want when you're done is you want it to be as dull as possible. So you want all the shine to be gone. And this is a good sign. See, there's not much dirt. It's mostly the color of the cleaner. Okay, so once I get to this stage, where I feel like I got all the dirt off and most of the grease, I just have 90%, I think it's 90. The strongest isopropyl alcohol I could find, 91%. I mist it down, take a clean towel, Now these towels don't lint too bad, but uh, some paper towels do, so you gotta be really careful about that as well. And then, now, I'm just trying to make sure I get all the cleaner off with something that whatever is left will evaporate well.
Okay. Then I want to make sure I get the edges because it's got to roll over the edge some of the paint. Okay, now you don't want to touch anywhere on it because you have it clean with your bare hands. I don't know if it shows, yeah, it shows up in the camera how dull it is. That's what you want. You want all the oils off of it. Okay, now we're going to take it in the back and we're going to paint it. Okay, you can see this one I got one coat on. This stuff covers pretty good. And this is dark blue. So this needs one more light coat, uh, just to even it out. It's actually pretty even, but you can see some of the dark coming through. And now uh, this is one that's not painted. So I'm going to set you up. Alright, so this is the can I built to give me. Of this. So everything's dry, the alcohol dries fast. Also, I carried it back with a rag, so I didn't get any you want to start by doing some white coats. You want to release the paint at the end of the stroke so you don't get build up when you come back. I think it's going to take about 15 pms to do the whole interior, which will make the project cost still about $150 a paint. Alright. 
Oh, this one's got a better spray pattern, much wider, which is good. This pan looks good. Let me bring it to it. So this is the color we're going with. I don't see any striping in it, so I'm pretty happy with it. So that's wet. That's dry. Well, almost dry. It'll darken a little bit more still. But we'll see if there's any touch-up needed on the next go-around. So YouTube, they came out pretty good. So these are the panels. They look pretty even. Look pretty fresh. And that one looks weird in the camera, but it looks good in person. And there's the doghouse cover, electrical panel cover, but uh, yeah, did all of them, and then the visors are, I painted them black, and they came out pretty good. This one I think needs another coat. There's a doll spot right there, and then this is the overhead console I bought all cleaned up. They look really good, too. The other one's in the truck. I just Test fitting. I'm gonna put those fans in too. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, next step is putting it in the truck and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all in there. Well, my truck is a complete mess, but we're gonna work on that today. So all the panels in the sleeper are ready to go back in, but before I do that, I'm gonna Throw some uh, sound deadening on the ceiling and some heat insulation as well. Uh, try to make it a little quieter. And the door panels over here, that piece, uh, I want to do something to make it so it doesn't reverberate as bad. But yeah, my truck's definitely tore down in a, in a sad state. So first thing I'm going to do is... Uh, I got the sound deadener stuff, and I'm gonna apply that to the ceiling uh, and get that going. So that's all the sound deadening on the roof. So that's all done. The back wall, that foam's glued on, and I don't wanna take it off, so I'm just gonna leave that how it is. Let me show you what I did out here. So this is the back panel, and what I did is I used some uh, adhesive glue, uh, contact cement, and glued this onto the back of it, which is like a bubble wrap with tin foil on both sides. It's supposed to be good at reducing heat. So uh, I did that because the stacks are on the back wall and thought it couldn't hurt, and I had a roll of it. It's been kind of getting in the way, so I want to use it up and thought it was a good use for it. I'm gonna put this panel in and I'll show you what it looks like when the interior is back in it. So YouTube, 
I got, I got ahead of myself and uh, lost some video of me putting the interior in and overhead console. Uh, this is a lot of work. Uh, finding all the holes again uh, really sucks. But uh, one thing I did do is I put these little covers on them. I really like them. A whole, whole lot better than having screws out there. So what they are is you put the screw inside the button and then you have the little covers that go over them. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, I still have to pull this out. I didn't want to do that until I have all the overhead done. So I don't have all the tools. I mean, that's a mess in here. I don't have all the tools and stuff. I also added some fans, uh, which I'm gonna really enjoy. And uh, the overhead I'm really gonna like. Uh, that took me probably 10 hours to get that overhead in. The holes weren't in there. So trying to find all the holes and stuff really was a pain in the butt. But yeah, uh, I moved the speakers that used to be here back there and then I have speakers here too so uh, it's kind of nice to add some I did have one problem let me blow you up right in that corner there uh, I don't know I must not have cleaned it good or something uh, it didn't the paint it's paint dye whatever the heck it is it didn't stick in that one spot so I gotta go in there somehow clean it and spray that. I also, these things were hollow. Oops, let me shrink you back. Hollow here, and they echoed a lot. So I sprayed spray foam into them, thinking that would help, which it definitely did. But it came out here, made a mess. So I gotta clean all of this up and uh, see what I could do there. Luckily the seat, We'll cover this because the seat will be like right there, but I still want to get it cleaned up and as best as I can. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. Uh, it's so much brighter in here than it was when I was blue. Uh, and I really like the color and it's all even. It looks new, uh, which I really, really like. Uh, I'm really happy with how it's looking. So I'm going to put a couple more screws in and then uh, I'll catch you up uh, then. So guys, so guys, here's where it's going. Uh, so the dash, nothing really changed, um, but the console's in. Uh, I need to cover this plate I made in this wood trim uh, and get a CB mount for the side. Uh, got new speakers. I need to get a light for here. And then, uh, it came out really good. I'm really happy with how it looks. Uh, still got a little bit of cleaning up to do there where the expand the foam came out on me. Um, I also added a uh, subwoofer behind my seat but yeah I'm gonna end this video here there'll be a follow-up once I get the door panels I'm gonna go look at them today I hope uh, so I need door panels I need that trim piece I need that light and uh, I think I'm gonna call the interior good oh I'm gonna make a trim around that uh, blower fan for the bunk still and I got chrome side things I'm putting up and I'm putting uh, those no glare lights on too I'm really liking the fans um, I was worried about them being in my vision but they're not too bad so that's where it's at right now uh, really enjoying it uh, nice to have my truck back together it was apart for longer than it should have been
uh, as I've been working these potatoes. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And please uh, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you're not, if you like my content. And uh, I'll try to get videos out faster. Uh, this potato deal, I got another week and a half and then I'm done. Uh, so then I should be able to go back to getting at least a video a week out. Sorry for the delays on this. But I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.